Let's talk about heat. <laughs> Styling your beard with heat or not. I've really been mixing it up lately. It's probably been close to 50-50, the amount of days that I use a blow dryer on my beard and days that I do not. Now, there are pros and cons to both of those things, and that's what this video is gonna be about today. I'm gonna break down both sides of the fence, why I choose it some days, why I choose not to other days, and hopefully, I'll hear from you guys on your thoughts of styling your beard with heat, and for me, it is specifically a blow dryer that I'm using here. And if you guys are new here, my name is Dancy Bearded. Welcome, check out this video, check out my other videos. If you like the style, you like the content and information, consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up on the video. I do appreciate that, so thank you guys. Introduction, then into the information. To start off, I apologize if my voice is a little bit off. I don't know if I was just talking too much today, but it just seems different right now, so I'm sure you guys will notice. But let's start off by talking about heat. There are some big advantages of styling your beard with heat. Heat plus tension equals direction. If you use a comb, you use a brush, and you're applying heat, it's gonna go in that direction better than if you were not using heat. That is an advantage. If you have little sides that wanna curl up, heat's gonna help. If you wanna train your mustache, heat is gonna help. If you're in the awkward phase, heat is going to help for your styling. Another thing is, when you put heat to your beard, you gain more length. What happens when you don't have heat is they crinkle up, go up here, and your length gets shorter. Now, a disadvantage of that is oftentimes with those straightening hairs, your hair can appear to be thinner. Your beard will seem not as dense, so it's kind of a give or take. Longer but thinner, or do you want that shorter and denser beard? Just personal preference there. Now, for me, the biggest summary or biggest advantage of using heat is appearing to be professional night, night, nice and tidy and neat. That's what I was going for there, neat. And it gives the appearance that you care about your beard. It's not the homeless look. If you're going to a work meeting, if you're going on a date, if you have something where it is important uh, to look like you are trying, that heat is going to give you that appearance there. So those are my biggest benefits when it comes to heat. Oh, and one I forgot too, is when it comes to grooming, oftentimes heat can really help with the combing. A lot of guys will talk about their beard getting snagged. I've talked about things like conditioner and all these other things. But one of the biggest ways to help your combing and the flow of your beard is by applying heat. When you don't have heat, it's all like a rat's nest and crazy in there. A good, regular heat routine will help you comb your beard better. Okay, those are the ones at least that I have right now and that I've been working on as the pros and even a con in there when it comes to the styling your beard with heat. Not using heat to style your beard, I have been doing that more lately than ever before. Like I said, I'm probably 50-50 now on heat days versus non-heat days, and there are some big advantages that come along with that. Uh, first and foremost is the time. If you don't feel like going through your full morning routine and styling your beard with the blow dryer or the heated brush, it just takes less time when you don't use heat, and that's big. If you're lazy, you're lounging around the house that day, or just flat out don't feel like it, that's a huge one. The second one's kind of vice versa, what I said to the other, the other side of the story, is if you don't use heat, your beard's gonna usually appear to be more dense or more thick. Rather than having those straight hairs, they kind of get a little Velcroed into each other, you get that little puzzle piece where it goes up and it's all working together, and it makes that beard look thicker. Not only does it make it look thicker, but Sam would say that it makes it look more manly. Even my own wife sometimes is like, yeah, your beard looks great when it's all heated and everything, but sometimes I just want the rugged. I want the mountain man. I like that kind of wilder look. So that's a good option to have in there. And then another thing is oftentimes guys beards just feel better with a break from heat. Now I don't think heat is destroying your beard. I don't think it's damaging your beard. I don't think it's this, that, but no heat is definitely better. If we're going to look at it, there's some advantages to heat on the health side, but there's far more to not using any. So we got to put that over there for an advantage when it comes to not using heat. All right. Those are covering those main ones there. We're going to wrap it up with a conclusion in two seconds. 
To summarize my thoughts and experiences when it comes to styling my beard with heat and styling my beard without heat, I like to mix it up. I like both sides of that fence and I think that's okay. There's times where I like styling my beard and then giving it a couple days break, but then retraining again. I don't like to do either of them for too many days in a row because I think that balance brings out the best of both worlds. So comment, question, please leave them down below. First and foremost, what do you do? What is your rotation of heat to non-heat? Are you using heat every day? Do you never use heat? Do you have some kind of balance like I do? And then what do you think are some pros and cons that I missed to either side? Because I know there's a bunch out there that you guys are gonna help us out with in the comment section. I'm excited to highlight those and read those as you guys bring them in. Give us your thoughts, guys. Dancy bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.